What's this fascination with the four-day work week? Good evening, folks, and welcome back to another episode of Silver Dad Knows. Remember, always live with no edits. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button now, as you're going to like what I'm about to say. <clears throat> Excuse me there, I didn't mean to exaggerate that. Right here to my left, guys, I think you're going to be very pleased with this coin. Remember, this is before Disney went woke. So before you diss this coin, this is Fantasia. This goes back forever ago, honoring a time forever ago, before they were trying to indoctrinate our children. This is just straight up Disney. Um, so of course, if you're wondering what's on the other side, boom, 2019. But of course, let's talk about uh, what really, really makes this coin so special. Truly an outstanding silver piece that depicts the beloved Mickey Mouse as the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Depicted on the reverse is the iconic Fantasia film, uh, with Mickey pointing his star-filled hat and his finger upwards. The wizardly, um, so excuse me, the wizardry and wonder are shown as he whirls matter into existence. Of course, then you go to the obverse, we notice the contemporary effigy of Queen Elizabeth II by engraver Ian Rank Broadley. And of course, I've mentioned uh, Mr. Broadley. This magnificent coin serves as an excellent gift as it contains one of the most easily recognizable and enduring characters ever created to adults and children alike. These are highly collectible, being offered with an extremely limited mintage of only 15,000 coins worldwide. So truly is a special piece, and the detail that went into this is uh, just, it really is spectacular. You see all that dust in the air, all that magic dust. And I wish you could see this point in person because um, even though this is an HD camera, uh, it really doesn't note justice to what the human eye um, would see right now, how the human eye would see it. I really, really love this piece. It is it is gorgeous, more gorgeous in person than what I'm seeing on, on the camera myself. I'm seeing it in person, then I'm seeing it on camera. And I'm, eh, no, it looks much, much more beautiful in person. Uh, real quick, guys, before I continue, I want to give a quick shout out to one of my loyal subscribers. And there's a comment from last night. Here we go. This is Donovan Myers 7600. I see it as a good thing that our fake monetary system is coming down. It is corrupt and has been used to spread wars and destruction around the planet. We need to return to a more honest and purified system that promotes health, growth, and stability instead of greed, hate, and destruction. Gold and silver would be a good step toward this. Amazing comment, Donovan Meyer, 7600. Um, and I couldn't agree with you more so. And yes, you know, in a, in a more perfect society, which we're far from, we would be trading solely gold and silver, or at least a currency that was backed by gold and silver the way it was always intended. Um, it was always intended to be that way, especially here in the West. You know, something really got to me this morning that I had been thinking about, and I wanted to discuss it um, in my episode because it's something I just can't get off my mind. But Janet Yellen, openly told us months ago that she regretted calling inflation transitory in 2021. And I remember when this headlight came out, I kind of scratched my head like, are you serious? Why, why, are you, why are you in charge? Why do you have the position that you have then? The Treasury Secretary clearly did not understand the issues at hand. Powell used similar terminology many times before as well in 2022, and I quote, high inflation is temporary and will wane, which never happened. The fact that they've been telling us for over a year that rates would go down has been highly misleading and cruel. Inflation has been increasing as shelter, food, and gra uh, gas prices have been contributing the most to people's monthly increase. What's driving inflation? The out of control government spending. What's this fascination with the four day work week? Because if an employee works 40 hours a week plus, then they're full time. And so many employers are obligated to offer dental insurance, health insurance, 401k, and other benefits. Practically every billionaire, every industry titan is pushing to make this a reality. It's all part of the rug pool. 136 million Americans already are going part time. 
they don't have to be driving to the office. More notably, the elites, the corporate elites, don't want you driving to the office. They want us all to work from home. They want us to work less while the cost of living continues to get more unsustainable and while having more debt than ever before. So how is this going to play out if people are making less money? They're working from home. Prices are increases on food, shelter, gas, taxes, everything. Everything because our dollar is on the verge of crumbling at the fastest rate in its existence. Car insurance is going to drop um, oh, I'm so sorry, not car insurance. No, car ownership is going to drop within the next six years immensely by at least 80%. Not car insurance, car ownership by at least 80% within the next six years. Just wait and see because cars won't be affordable anymore and many that currently exist will be outlawed. And you got that right. They will be outlawed. The Fed has no intention to pivot, which is why the erosion of our purchasing power persists. More and more people will be demanding a solution because we're going to need one. All taxes um, increase, you know, all these taxes are increasing because of universal basic income, which is going to be funded by tax revenue. Trillions in new taxes are coming, so we only have about 12 to 22 months, less than two years to prepare accordingly and make as much money as po possible and invest it properly. A universal basic income at the federal level is already in play, but you don't want to fall victim to such a system because it's the universal income that's going to keep you poor and oppressed. Those who have real estate, have a stable income, are heavily invested in cryptocurrency, heavily invested in precious metals, they are going to benefit more than anybody else. Have the right assets in place to prepare yourself later on in the best possible ways. So, of course, how could I ever forget? I am featuring <clears throat> a 1921 Silver Morgan. These 1921 American silver Morgan dollars hold a special place in American uh, numismatic history. It marks the final year of the silver dollar series, the Morgan silver dollar series, which began in 1878 and was temporarily halted in 1904 due to the Pittman Act of 1918, which required the melting of millions of Morgan dollars to replenish um, the nation's silver reserve. So a limited number of 1921 Morgan dollars were minted. These circulated uh, Morgan dollars, which you see right here, serve as a nostalgic reminder of the past and are cherished by collectors and enthusiasts alike for their historical significance and charm. You know, very, very charming pieces um, all around. Just all around and uh, very inspirational, very patriotic, very American. The design of the 1921 Silver Morgan follows the classic style of its predecessors. Um, the Averse features a, if you notice here, left-facing portrait of Lady Liberty. So if you're wondering who is this, because people think, oh no, it's, it's Morgan. No, Morgan is the designer. This right here is Lady Liberty, adorned with a cap and a wreath representing freedom and victory. And circling, and circling her are 13 stars. See, all around. 13 stars. You know what, what they mean? They symbolize the original 13 colonies of the United States. So, splendid coin. Um, I hope you enjoyed the coins that I showed uh, today because... <clears throat> Of course, I, I like to repeat a lot of the important coins like the Libertads, the American Eagles, the Maple Leafs, the Britannias. Um, you know, right here I have a um, Buffalo Silver Round. Um, I try to show you guys coins that are essential, but then you also want to have coins that are highly collectible and highly sought after. So, of course, the Fantasia uh, to my left is highly sought after. And see, the Silver Morgan is just a smart it's just always a smart buy. You want to have a boatload of Silver Morgan, especially if you're heavily in this game. But folks, thank you so much for joining us for another evening of Silver Dad Knows. Remember, God bless you. 
God bless your household. And as always, God bless America.